within the lab, there's a very simple principle that should govern everything that happens in the IVF lab, and that is that the biology controls everything that is done in the laboratory, whether it's for the gametes, the sperm and the eggs, or for the embryos, the biology is the most important thing. And so everything we do in the lab must support the biology. If we don't support the biology fully, then we are not fully optimized. And if we um, do not control something that can cause the embryos to um, expend energy, um, adapting to changing conditions or um, developing under less than perfect conditions, then that energy the embryos have to spend is basically stress to the embryos. So when we look at what we have to do, the biology tells us what we need to do. And we have to make sure that the, the chemistry and the physics of what we're doing in the lab, whether it's the choose, choice of the culture medium, the choice of the equipment, how the equipment is set up, how it's calibrated, how we actually do the manipulations, how we handle things, how and where we examine things, all those things must um, so make sure that the chemistry and the physics are not disturbed so that we are providing the best support possible to the biology.